it's Christy with the Chirp YouTube channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about some great ideas that you could buy for your child for Christmas or for some other holiday that you may celebrate at this time of year or maybe birthdays that are coming up at some point during the next year. Uh, it's just a good little gift guide of toys that are developmentally flexible, age flexible, and that a lot of times encourage social interaction in a child that otherwise would maybe not enjoy that so much. So I'm going to take you on a little field trip to the program that I run at my home church here in Arizona. And I'm going to show you what those toys are and some of what, why I recommend them. And then I will be back. Keep in mind that if you watched my video that I did about classroom toy recommendations. This is going to be the same information here sandwiched in between my beginning and my end because I wanted to make sure that I got this information to two different populations. The population of people who are um, organizing and equipping a classroom for people with special needs and then I wanted to make sure to also get this information to families who are buying stuff for their own child at home. So if you are a child's family member, parent, grandparent, um, sibling, anything like that. Here are some great ideas of how to help your child engage with you better and how to help your child have lots of fun. The first toy I'm going to start with, oh my goodness, I just kicked over my trains. The first toy I'm going to start with is this Gears toy which you turn it on and it spins, so that's super cool. I have taken little digital photos of each of the gears, there's a whole bunch of them, so that the kids can take it off and ask for the next gear. And I keep them in a box that is like Fort Knox. It's kind of difficult for little ones to get in, so they have to ask, which is fabulous. I love this toy, and the link is down below. It's called Gearation. It's from Tomy, and you can buy it on Amazon. It's very good for sensory um, input because the spinning is very beneficial to most of our students. The second thing is rocket balloons. Let's see if I can blow one of these up. Oh, you're going to get to go upside down with this camera. I didn't bring my tripod today, so this is a creative experience we're having here. Um, okay, so then <laughs> you're going to get sick watching this camera go. So you pump it up like this. All right, we're going to put the camera right here on the counter. So you pump it up like this. And then you have to make sure that the end is snapped, otherwise it won't do what it is supposed to do. You see that how it's kind of, it needs to not be curled up. There we go. And then, and then we let it go. There it went. And with this one, I let the kids choose what color balloon they want. And then, before we let it go, we count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. And they love that. Um, this balloon thing is very good for pre-reading skills, believe it or not, um, because watching the balloon zoom through the air um, is actually very good for helping kids lateralize their gaze. So most of our students, especially those with special needs, do not do very well at looking to one side or the other. They um, mostly just look straight ahead of them. And so this helps them to look around them more and get input from that that makes them more interested in looking around because it's fun. The third thing is a good train set. Most of our kids love trains. This is what I kicked over earlier because I am so cool. Um, so there we go. This is kind of how it was set up before. Uh, very nice train set. I got this one for $40 at Target. Um, and I keep everything in a box. And this one is a friend toy, meaning that if a child wants to play with this, he has to ask a friend to play along with him so that we can get some social interaction going on. Most of our kids, especially those with a diagnosis of autism, just love trains, and so I always try to have one in my classroom. The next toy that I recommend is called um, Marble Run. I will put a link to the specific one down in the info box, but the reason this is good is because, of course, it's 
um, you have to practice building things, which is challenging, but also educational. Um, this particular one, pretty much none of my students can build it by themselves. I have to build it for them, but once I do, then we get to do this. This is very good for um, teaching kids how to wait for what they really want because they want to grab that marble right now and I make them wait until it goes in the red cup. It's also very good for sensory input because it's very soothing. Every time I play with this I kind of want to go to sleep because just watching the marble go back and forth and back and forth is so relaxing. So highly recommended and I probably will do a uh, video all alone on how to build this thing properly because my volunteers usually take some time learning that. The next toy I recommend is some sort of a building toy that has people. So not just plain blocks. This is a Dora's House Mega Blocks set. So we have Swiper and we have Isa and we have a couple of Doras. And so the kids can build houses. They can build a little playground. Actually, I think this is two sets put together, the home building set and the playground building set. But um, we wanted to have people because our kids have so much trouble with social interaction. Usually they will prefer to play with vehicles or um, toys that don't have any people or anim animals usually are okay because they don't talk. But especially kids with autism, they don't, social interaction is so hard for them that they don't want to have any people in their play scenarios and so it's really good if we kind of uh, encourage that and sort of force the issue a bit by having there be little friends. Hello Dora, hello Isa, hello Swiper, look how cute you are. Alrighty, um, you can also of course have a doll house. that's never a bad plan. I highly recommend a trampoline to get the wiggles out. It's a good idea to have some sort of an easel because kids like to draw. Mine has a chalkboard on the other side. Yay, it's very decorative today. And if you can convince your facilities team, um, a swing is a great idea. Ours is a little bit um, padded on the inside so the kids are slightly off balance, which helps them to um, gain core strength and feel a little bit more aware of their body in space. Were you surprised by any of my recommendations? I hope you were because I like to keep you on your toes. I probably will be doing a video on each of those individual toys and how to flex them for age and developmental abilities coming up in the next calendar year, I guess. And um, so be on the lookout for those because one of the main things that I love about all those toys is that they, they each can be used for a variety of different levels of development and ability. So you can use um, the marble run for a child who is nonverbal and only interested in sensory input, or you can use it for a highly verbal teenage child who needs a little extra sensory input and is invigorated by the challenge of building something like that himself. So you can see that, um, oh, by the way, I have a lot of engineer dads of the, stu the clients that I've worked with. The engineer dads love that marble run and they love the gears game especially because that's what they do in their jobs. So very cool. Keep in mind that none of these toys are meant to be um, us directing the play and um, I, will, I will talk about that more in further videos but um, they're meant that we join in the enjoyment together with our child. So we don't say, put that on top of that, or you need to put the bridge like this when we're playing with the train set. We're not trying to prescribe a certain kind of play. We're trying to let our child enjoy. We're trying to provide support if our child needs it, but we want to hang back and we want to let the child direct the activity as much as possible. So I will talk to you again soon. I hope you enjoyed this little expedition. And thanks for watching. Bye.